Respondents were or represent the estates of passengers aboard the cruise ship Achille Laura when it was hijacked in October of 1985. Your Honor, Laurel Lines moves to dismiss this case based on the form selection clause that is printed on each passenger ticket. We believe that Laura Lyons should have the right to trial in Italy, not in the United States. The ticket as a whole does not give reasonable notice to passengers that they are waiving the opportunity to sue in a domestic forum. Therefore, your motion to dismiss is denied. Without moving for certification for immediate appeal pursuant to 28 U.S.C. subsection 1292B, defendant sought an appeal to the district court's order. The Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit dismissed the appeal holding on the grounds that the district court's orders were interrogatory and not appealable under 1291. They held that the order did not fall into the exception of the rule of non-appealability carved out for collateral final orders in Cohen v. Beneficial Industries. C section 1291 permits our immediate appeal of the district court's order, and therefore my client has the right to not stand trial in the United States. An order denying a motion to dismiss on the grounds that a form selection clause requires a different jurisdiction does not end the litigation, but instead ensures that the litigation will continue. I get that, counsel, but section 1291 does permit appeal. 28. USC 1291 only provides for appeals to the Court of Appeals only from final decisions of the District Court of the United States. And then Kweinenberg v. Byard, the court held. Judgment is final when it is a decision by the District Court that ends litigation on the merits and leaves nothing for the court to do but execute the judgment. Because of the form selection clause issue, Section 1291 should only apply in this case under narrow circumstances. The appeal should only be allowed if it satisfies all three elements of the Cohen exception. We hold that the district court's orders fail to satisfy the third condition of the collateral order test. We believe an order is effectively unreviewable only if it involves an asserted right that would be destroyed if its vindication must be postponed until trial is finished. Laurel Lyons argued, Our contractual form selection clause gives us the right to trial in Italy and the right to not be sued anywhere else. This argument of the trial court's lack of personal jurisdiction may not be absolutely secured by appeal after final judgment but we believe it still allows the possibility of appeal and thus is adequately vindicable. We say there are three conditions needed to determine whether an order falls within the exception of the final judgment rule. However, the first two conditions are not relevant because they would let any case in. What the third condition really means is that the exception to the final judgment rule applies only to cases that are too important to be denied review before standing trial. Thank <laughs> you.